Hello and welcome. It's Booze Fiend again, or Matt Reason. Here I am going to display what my army entails. Um, I mean, I haven't done. I was supposed to do a video for the thank you for 500 subscribers, but I've been just so busy with school and such that uh, I haven't gotten around to making any like videos that weren't just games. So uh, now that exams are done, I can kind of go over what I have in my army. So I'm just going to try and get in some close-ups of these guys. But there's my. Uh, my two units of skeletons that I own. Uh, you can see that there's some cursed company guys in there. With some orcs and lizard men skeletons and stuff. Um, my units of uh, spirit hosts that are again just empire dudes. Just painted up kind of ethereal. My Vargolf. I'll just pick them up here. Just so to... Really happy with this dude. I mean I, I want to get a second one. So I could be running too and getting all the, the world's tiniest thunder stomps going on. But I got all my zombies. These are the ones that are painted. Um, I believe I have 60. So I initially I got them all ready for uh, like a tournament that I just needed to have my 40 and then just have some pretty ones to raise. But uh, it's looking like I need more zombies. Um, these are the ghouls that I have painted. Uh, as you can see, there's the dude from off the top of the the uh, terror geist that I converted him up. Well, not really converted, but just took him off and made him the ghast. I don't know. Uh, a lot of the times I feel like a lot of detail can't be seen on my paint jobs. Just mostly because it's in a giant horde of, of ugly naked dudes or bones. So I think a lot of times my paint jobs don't get seen very often. Um, I got my Black Knights, which you guys also haven't really seen much of. Because, again, I don't, I, I tend to not like running with them. Just due to the fact that uh, they're so easy to uh, redirect. So I'll just get a closer look, maybe of my BSB um, battle standard. Try and do multiple things here to uh, concentrate. Um, I really liked actually doing the guys with the, the vines and stuff that were going all over them. It was just nice to put some, throw some color onto the models that having to paint a whole army of just my blue and bone. Um, my fantastic unit of 40 Graveguard, which I love. Uh, again, I was starting to repaint these guys. Uh, that banner was my first um, freehand banner I ever did, tried, but I mean, on the the single models themselves, I don't know if you can see, but I'm trying to do like a painting scheme that I saw um, Warboss Tay do. I don't know if my camera's doing my model any justice, but right behind them I have my uh, hex race, which I have another unit of five, but I just haven't gotten around to. Um, Painting up, finishing painting up the horses and such. And I got my two terrorgeists. That was the first one I painted. That was the second one I painted. And uh, this one is my $20 Chinese knockoff one. As you can see, a lot of the little bits have been broken off and stuff on him because he's such a cheap resin. But uh, I got my two units of dogs. Again, I mean, I try to do like a, a purpley wash on like the skins and stuff to make it look like that the, the zombie dog skin's kind of all bruised. And I need to actually go back onto these meat parts and do what I've been doing with my blood and gore using the tamar tamarkin red. Uh, my crib ghouls, which I also just bought two more boxes of ogres. So I'll be getting 12 more of these guys up and ready. Um, again, same thing. With the Tamarkin, there's a guy back here. I need to finish up getting his guts all um, bloodied up and washing on that skin and stuff. I've just been, uh, and his finger broke off. But, I mean, I've just been so, just once once they kind of get done, I get so into just playing and not touch-ups. Um, my black coach, this guy is old. This is one of my like first models that I ever got and one of my first paint jobs I ever did. Um, but 
I'm gonna try and actually use this guy a lot more. Now, my uh, corpse cart. I was really happy with how this paint job came out. I mean, with all the blood and gore in uh, in there. It was I actually took the the zombies out first and painted the whole thing, and then painted up the zombies and then tried to put them back in. And it was hard trying to get that clump of zombies back in that cage after painting. Um, and I mean, I forgot to put a bunch of the little bits hanging up the back and stuff, but. Again, oh, and I kind of converted this dude up because I didn't like the whip and I didn't like the giant uh, spear thing. So he's just he's holding on to like a little head. That's just right in there. And then my reverse, my reverse flames, which again, I'm not feeling like it's picking up the right colors just on this little screen that I have here. Um, and then I got my unit of six vargeists, which again is going to start turning into two units of six vargeists. Um, I wasn't too sure on how to, to paint these guys. I mean, they, uh, I didn't like any of the, the concept paint jobs on the, um, on the box themselves. So I, again, I just kind of watched a Warboss Tay tutorial and, uh, kind of followed that. And I got my Mortis engine back here. Um, a lot of people decided, like, did the, the whole carriage thing in bone. I like to do it in the, like the, I like the blue and black. I, I understand it's supposed to be like a bone whole thing, but it just looks so washed out. It almost looks like all one color with the way I do my ghosts. That uh, I I liked to do it with the uh, the blue. It looks more I don't know ghostly. I tried to do some online shading and stuff on all the the little bits of the cage. And you can't. I mean, I spent a lot of time painting that stupid shrine in the middle there, which no one ever sees. So, regret, kind of, of spending the extra time on that. Um, my, uh, I'll actually just go over a bunch of my characters that I use now. Some of these guys are old, like my old, uh, Metal Manfred. I mean, he's all chipped up again, just from playing in tournaments and such. Um, I forgot to actually fill in those little holes back there, but, oh well. I mean, I almost never use Manfred anymore, only in, like, a couple tournaments. And then I got Senior Vlad, who I took off the um, that big skull thing that also came flying off there because I just I thought that was pretty pretty weird. Um, I think there was an actual miscast on his hand that he's missing his thumb. But oh, as you can see, there's so many chips on these models, these stupid metal mods, and I mean even like the brown has been peeling off of my models. So much wear and tear of just taking him to tur tournaments and then just. Pulling off handfuls of my own guys. Uh, Henrik, who also was one of my first models I painted. I've been kind of tempted to pick up the fine cast one just to repaint a new one. Um, I mean, I could strip this guy, but whenever I start stripping old models, I don't know whatever to do with the flock and stuff. That, like, you know, will that just dissolve off the base, or do I just remove the base and, uh, you know, rebase them? Like, get another little small base and put them on. So, Actually, comments about that would be really grateful on how people actually deal with the flock when they uh, strip their metal models. I got two of the new Carrion Wraiths that, um, you know, they're just fantastic models. Uh, I did use them as units of Wraiths, but now I just use them as, uh, as characters. And then I got one of the older ones that I thought was one of the cooler of the Carrion Wraiths. That again used to run these in units of three when they used to be skirmishers and stuff. Um, a couple of my other older paint jobs were uh, Old School Vlad, that I just used them as a vampire. I mean, that is an awesome model. Look at that sword. But yeah, Old School Vlad, and then the Blood Knight Vampire. Um, again, this was one of my first models painted. I mean, you, you can just see I just dry brushed on the cloak. And uh, actually, I thought his face came out really well for being a back-in-the-day kind of painter. And uh, this guy actually initially had, like, the green base with all the green flock and stuff on him. So I, I rebased him just so he fits back in my army. But again, I don't like stripping my old guys just so I can show the progress of, you know, taking the, going from this guy to going to, like, my new vampire lord that's on a horse. I mean, I think... You know, he, I think he's one of my my favorite models that I've painted up. 
Uh, again, he's just uh, the dude taken off the top of the the uh, zombie dragon, thrown onto um, Warriors of Chaos legs on an, and on a horse, try to carve off as much of the signia of Warriors of Chaos on him, just so he looks like a big badass vampire riding on a big strength four nightmare. And then my sorry about the close pants, my um, vampire BSB. Again, same thing, just uh, Chaos Warrior, just convert it up. You can see that there were like the uh, the symbols for um, the Chaos Star. And I just tried to putty those in and stuff like that. But again, another th trying to do more um, on light sourcing. And I guess I really need to do something with that banner. It used to just be the, uh, the regen banner or the f four board against um, shooting. For my old my old knights, and let's see where else we are. I I only have seven more characters to go. Um, this guy I don't think anybody really ever sees. I mean I painted him up just because he's an amazing miniature, but uh, I mean I almost never get to use him because I almost never use a white king with just um a hand weapon and shield. So I'm one of those guys that likes to to use like what you see is what you get. So I tend not to, to use this guy because I almost never use a dude with hand weapon shield. But I think I painted him up very nicely. But no one ever gets to see this guy. Um, my necromancers. These two guys just made out of the Empire Wizard kits. Which again, I do reverse flames for some reason. Having it dark in the uh, near the base of the fire and then it gets lighter as it goes away instead of real fire. Um, and then I got my dude that usually uses the book or um, death. And again, just, you know, from the Empire thing. I guess I really need to write something in that guy's book so he knows what he's reading. But. And then the guy that I always use for my uh, level 4 Necro. Um, again, like, these models were so good. Uh, just his forehead is kind of bugging me. It always has been since I painted it. I mean, I I could go fix it, but again, I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin it and then have to, like again, I've never stripped a model, so I don't really know how. I don't know the the process of going through. I don't know what you do with all the flock and stuff after you bathe it in all the chemicals. And then I have my uh, my mantic. He's not mantic. Um, I can't remember what Bane Lords. I think it's my White King BSB, which I really wish I could get the uh, Forge World one. Just because like this banner looks so little and dinky, but I mean, um, I don't know. He kind of, I kind of think he looks like an undead version of Ash from uh, Army of Darkness. But yeah, I put, had to put him on a little cork base because if you notice, um, without it, he is like it, it kind of puts him back up to that height. So sorry, I should probably use like another White King. It kind of makes him closer to a, like a, a full height just because these guys are so skinny from Bane Lords. Now only two more heroes left. I have Krell um, which he's starting to make a comeback in my list not as Krell but as a White King with a great weapon wearing the Night Shroud. Um, again I think he's a fantastic model. I mean having to rebend the axe and stuff was no problem but you know, a lot of people haven't rebent the axe, and so it's doing a weird curvy thing. But I think I got a pretty good job in there. Um, there's an upcoming tournament that you can put in a best single model painted, and I'm really torn if it's going to be uh, my vampire, my vampire lord, this guy, Krell, or my uh, this white king. I mean, I also have. Uh, this vampire that I converted up as well. I mean, I think she looks pretty good. She also might be an, another contender for the um, best painted, but again, I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't really know about how my own painting stuff is, because everybody that I show in my club about my painting stuff, everybody, I don't know, there's so many good painters in my club that uh, it's really hard to get my stuff noticed. So I'm not too sure about that. But again, out of those four, 
which one do you think I should probably enter for best painted single miniature? Uh, if you would just comment on that, that'd be amazing. Now, this my painting log is over here. Oh, this is actually would be another runner-up. He's my uh, White King with um, fencer's blades, which I just converted him up using the. Oh, why is there? Oh, I, yeah, I re. I'm in the process of doing his base, and so I re-sanded him so there's bits of sand stuck on him some places. But uh, yeah, he's the Warrior Priest model. I cut off like the little things of Sigmar and put little bat skulls and stuff on him. But this guy, I actually spent a lot of time painting. I mean, I tried to do some blending in on the the cape and stuff, and on the armor. Again, if I get them all based up and finished, he might be what I enter in for the best single model, which again would be uh, great if you guys can give me some uh, insight. But my painting log, I need to paint up these 50 ghouls. Um, there's all these skele uh, zombies that are essentially base coast, base, uh, sorry, base coated. I just need to ink them and then base them. But again, I just, it's really hard to just get the, oh no, sorry, there's even more of them. So, there's about, what's that, uh, 57 zombies that I just really am not in the mood to ink them in base 57 miniatures. Um, this is one of my projects of repainting my old guys. I mean, I went back and I just decided that my skeletons, I mean, they're so bright. I mean, when you look at them, they're so white that I wanted to kind of dull them down with the way I kind of do my skulls now. But uh, I just haven't been, I haven't been using skeletons, so I haven't been having the urge to paint them up. But uh, over here are my unfinished hex rays. I mean, the horses are almost done. They just need highlights. And uh, I just put together the riders so they're not even base coated. And um, over here are, I have a couple more horses. Because I was also repainting the horses before I got the, another uh, bits box. Sent me some more of the ethereal new horses. So initially I had ripped off all of my knights so that I could double up with hex rays and black knights. So I could put all these guys back on and have two units of 10 black knights or a unit of 20 black knights. And over here I have a big bits box of skeletons, which I think is about another 40 skeletons if I really want to get more skeletons in my list. Um, and that's essentially what I own for vampire counts. Um, again, like I said, there's going to be six more Vargeists coming and 12 more Cryptors coming, but um, let me know what you think. That's my army. Again, there's a couple terrain pieces that I painted. Um, and thanks for watching. Thank you for all the subscribers' support, and I'll continue to be posting up battle reports. And if you guys have anything else you would like to see, like my magic cards or anything like that, uh, just let me know. I'll probably do a video on that as well. But thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and enjoy.